Hey guys, welcome back. So today I figured I would do a video of my most worn, everyday, favorite, favorite, favorite jewelry. I usually get so many questions on Instagram, on uh, my videos here on YouTube, like just regular videos on what jewelry I'm wearing, where it's from, all that good stuff. And I do have so much costume jewelry because of my online boutique. If you guys don't know, I have an online boutique. Um, and so a lot of the accessories that I have do come from there. But not a lot of my everyday accessories come from there. A lot of my cute little like layered necklaces and stuff like that all come from my website, brendalynandcora.com. I'll leave it down below. Um, but there are a lot of things that are not from there that I use every single day and I wear and love. And they are in like my rotation every single time I get ready. And I have to mention my shirt really quick. It says carbs because... We just got this from my store and I love it so much. This was my favorite one out of all the t-shirts that we brought because I literally love carbs and carbs like hate me. Like that's what makes me like get bloated. I just figured I would mention this really quickly. I'll leave it linked down below as well because we just got it so it'll actually be in stock. So starting off with all of my rings because that's where I've gotten a ton of questions in the past. So I have and wear so many rings a lot of these are ones that i wear every single day like i do not take these rings off so i figured i would start with like one of them that this is the only one from there and then i can break down all the other ones so this ring right here it is a steel or silver i don't even know and gold um ring this is from david yearman this was a gift to myself because we decided to finally pay ourselves from our online store, so that was just a huge accomplishment and a huge milestone. So I figured I would buy myself a piece of jewelry because it's timeless and I will literally have this forever. I'll be able to pass this down to my kid if I ever have a daughter. Um, I wear this on my ring finger because it is the only finger that it fits. So I wear it right here on this finger and I wear this ring by itself. I guess I'll talk about all of my catbird rings. And if you've been following me for a while, if you follow me on Instagram, all that stuff, I am constantly shouting out Catbird for the jewelry that I have from there. So two of the rings that I have are a little bit difficult to see when I hold them because they are actual like chains. Like it's a little chain. Like This is what it looks like right here. It's literally a, like a link, like a chain link. And this was one of the first rings that I bought myself from Catbird. I bought myself this one. Is it this one? No, the other one. I have two of them. That's why I'm like confused. And this one I actually wear on my ring finger from my other hand, on my right hand. And this, it just rolls right on. I love the way that it looks stacked with a whole bunch of different rings. Which brings me to the next one, which is this one right here. This is their tomboy ring. This is pretty much just like a gold um, band, but you can get them engraved. So Tyler got this engraved for me two Christmases ago. And it says lucky you on it because that's actually the first thing he ever said to me. It's... Like, there's no, like, real true significance to it, but the first thing he ever said to me was lucky you. So that's kind of, like, our thing. So he engraved lucky you on it, and I wear this on this finger here. And then the last ring that I wear on that finger is this smaller band right here. Um, this one is also from Catbird, and this is what it looks like here. It's literally just a regular gold band. By the way, these are all solid gold. None of these rust they don't turn your fingers green they are all 100% real solid gold so they are a little bit more expensive but they are worth the investment if you're someone that wears your rings a lot don't want to worry about taking them off in the shower want something that's going to last forever all that stuff this is the last ring that I wear right here on this finger so on this finger I wear the three of these stacked let me see if I can there we go so these are the three that I wear stacked together and then this is the David Yearman one that I have on this finger. Next for Catbird, I'll talk about my last three. Yeah. I'm like trying to remember what's from what. So the last three, three that I have from Catbird, actually the last four. God, I'm all over the place. So for my birthday, this last birthday that just passed, uh, Tyler and I went to New York and he told me I could just pick whatever I wanted and I really wanted to go into Catbird because they have a Catbird. The only one that they have is in Brooklyn. So we took a trek over to Brooklyn and I was like, oh, I just want to go into the store and I didn't know what I wanted. I kind of wanted a bracelet and then I kind of wanted a pair of earrings, but then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get rings for my pinky. So I ended up getting another, I think they're, they're called Sweet Nothing rings. I'm going to zoom it in right now. 
So it's another little chain and then I got this tiny little one. I forgot what it was called, but I'll leave it linked down below. I'll remember once I see it, uh, but that's what they look like. I wear these both together, stacked on my pinky. They're meant to be like midi rings, like to be worn like this, but I don't, I'm not into that style. If you are, that's what these are for. But I just threw them on my pinky. You can see I literally have tans of my rings. The last ring that I have that's from Catbird is actually this little tiny ring that has like a flat metal plate on it or a flat gold plate on it and it has engraved the letter i very 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 hard for me to find any jewelry that has my initial so the fact that they did all the initials i was like yes i'm getting one and it sucks because a lot of the times like if i get my uppercase letter it just looks like a line like a lot of places don't do an eye with the lines at the top and the bottom they just do a line and i'm like i don't want to get a ring that just has a line through it so i got my lowercase initial on that same finger i stack this ring right here which this one is like a twisted ring i'm not sure if you can see the detail of it and this one i stack with that ring so this is what they look like together and that ring is actually from vray and oro brian oro i'm not sure how it's pronounced but this one is actually from california um solid gold as well i think tyler got me this one for christmas last year as well so i stacked that one there and then the last one that i stack on that finger is actually from my online store which is brendalyn and cora um as soon as i saw that we could get 14 karat gold rings for our boutique i was like i am getting this so we ordered a whole bunch of these and i got this one here this is solid gold um we only have size sixes left so i will leave them linked down below and i just stack that on here so this is what this hand looks like there's tons of rings i know and then the last ring that I want to show you guys was actually one of my first rings that I ever got. And this one's actually from Catbird as well. This one is called a hammered ring. And this one is actually in rose gold. Solid rose gold, very, very thin, very skinny band. And I throw that one on this finger. So this is what all of my rings look like on my fingers. I know it's a lot, but I love them all so much. And I do not take these off. These stay on my fingers all the time, when I shower, when I sleep, all that. So next I have earrings and earrings is something that I honestly do not switch up that much I'm not that much of like a statement earring girl unless I'm going somewhere very specific if I have my hair up that's one time that like I love throwing on like really cute like dangly earrings or like something with like beading or something like that but on an everyday basis I really don't change my earrings up that much every once in a while I will switch out my studs these are just some studs that I bought at like I don't know marshalls or something like that they're literally just plain little diamond studs but i do have two different earrings that i wear pretty regularly one of them both of them are actually from my online store i'm sorry i don't really buy a lot of earrings just because i always wear things like this but this is a pair that i wear a lot these are the minimal no i don't remember what they're called but this is what they look like right here. What I like about them the most is that they're not shiny. They're like a brush gold. So I really, really like that because I just feel like it looks a little bit more like old school and vintage. They're the perfect size. I don't like super, super huge hoops just because they tend to get a little bit heavy on my ears. And I'm very sensitive to the weight in an earring. But this is what they look like here. They're like the old school, just very classic hoop i like that they're a little bit bigger than a quarter so they go really well with anything i like how it looks with my hair down i like how it looks with my hair up so i just wear these so 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 much anytime i have like something that i don't want to wear a stud for i will usually grab these and we've had these for like i'd say like two months now maybe a little less than two months and i've worn them a ton and then with that, another pair that's from kind of the same collection. It's another pair of brushed earrings, but these are actually bamboo earrings. And if you are from like the 90s or if you are Hispanic, Puerto Rican, Dominican, any Spanish, honestly, because all of us wore them, the huge bamboos from back in the day, this is kind of like a spinoff of that because these are really, really small, um, but still have that bamboo shape and bamboo finish. These are also that brush gold, so they aren't super shiny. So usually when earrings are like that, they don't look cheap because they're not like really, really bright yellow or like this intense gold or anything. So that's what these look like. Um, these are actually sold out. We sold out of these like a week ago, I would say, but I love them so much. Wear them a bunch. Now for my necklaces. This I kind of have a nice mix of. A couple of them are from my store. I'm not going to lie. This isn't like a shameless plug or anything. It's just 
really what I wear. First one I'm going to talk about are these necklaces that I have right here. These are actually not from my store. These are from an online store called The Dream. And a girl that I know, well, I don't know her, but she goes to my church. And her husband, this is actually their brand. And I love this. This is the... I can't remember what they're called. I think it's like a Saint Pendant necklace or something like that. But I love that the, the pendants are rectangles and they come together. It's two necklaces that are together. Um, and I just love the way that they look, especially with like a plain shirt. If you need a little bit of something to a plain shirt, getting necklaces like these is perfect. I will leave these linked down below. Another necklace that I got from them that I love so much and I've worn so much is this C pendant necklace. I wanted an eye, but like I told you guys for my ring, eye jewelry is very hard to find. I don't know why. Like, what about the Isabellas, the Ingrids, the Islas, the Yvonne's? Like, what about us? Like, there are never any eye jewelry. Like, I don't know why. So she sent me a C. I had reached out to her and I was like, oh my god, if you guys find an eye, please let me know and I will like pre-order it. I'll do whatever. And she ended up surprising me and sending me this one with my order when I ordered this one. And she told me, you know, we don't have an I, but I did find a C for my last name. And my last name, I've talked about it before when I talked about my tattoo. My last name means everything to me. It's so important to me. And so I love this necklace so much. It looks pretty by itself. It looks really cute when it's uh, stacked. And again, just a really cute, simple, easy necklace to throw on when you need a little bit of something. This is a necklace that I wear a lot. And every single time I wear it, without fail, I get questions about it. I bought this necklace when I was in New York like two years ago. Not this last time that I went, but the time before that. And I went into the Oculus building and they had a store called, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but it's COS. I don't know if it's COS, SOS, COS. Um, but I went into that store and I fell in love with everything about the store. Like I love the clothes, I love the jewelry, I loved everything. And I didn't really like want to buy clothes. So I ended up buying this big pendant. This is like a gold brushed like really heavy like this is a heavy necklace pendant and i love the way that it looks with these earrings because it's the same type of brush gold and this is just a really simple gold solid pendant every single time i wear this it does not fail i get questions about where this is from um if they still have it available i don't think that they will but if they do or if i can find something similar on their website i'll leave it linked down below but i've had this for two years i've worn it so much and it still looks perfect like there's no scratches on it it looks brand new. Now we have a necklace from my store, Brendolyn and Cora. This is something that I wear all the time and I love to wear it uh, with the other round pendant. And this one is our compass pendant. This one is really tiny as you can see like it's really small but it's a tiny little pendant that has north, south, east, west on it and I love the way that it looks. It's also like a brush gold so it's not super super shiny gold. I really like that type of gold and I just love this layered with other necklaces. I like it by itself. I like it with like plunging necklines because it's just this tiny little circle. It looks like a little Cheerio. It's really, really cute. So I love this. I think we still have these available so I'll actually leave these linked down below. Next is one of my favorite necklaces of all time and this one is the Aries Charm necklace. Um, when was it that we got these? I think it was like the beginning of the year. I love Zodiacs, like I love them. And when I saw these necklaces, I love that they were these dainty little charms. So I'm an Aries, so my charm is like a ram. And so this is what it looks like. They have little stones inside of it and every single one is so cute. I also love this one layered with other necklaces. I like this one by itself as well. I love it because it's tiny. It's really, really dainty. I have worn this thing a bajillion times and I just I love it like I love this necklace I think we only have one sign left I think it's like cancer Capricorn I don't remember but I'll leave a link down below and if it happens to be your sign then you're in luck because we actually have it available now the last necklace that I want to talk about is probably my most worn necklace that I've ever owned this is my nameplate necklace I used to have I bought this like Four years ago I would say and then I ended up losing it and I was so sad so my best friend Joali's got this for me for Christmas to replace it and she got it on Etsy I don't remember the site but you can literally go on Etsy and just search like nameplate necklaces or Carrie necklace because this is kind of like a take on Carrie Bradshaw's necklace in Sex and the City and I love it because again I can never find anything with my letter or even or my name like definitely not my name so I always wear this I usually wear it by itself I have worn it layered before and I love it it's my favorite necklace. I wear it with everything. It looks good with everything, with jeans and a t-shirt. It looks good with a tank top and shorts. It looks good dressier. I just, I love my name necklace 
so 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 much now the last thing I'm gonna talk about is my bracelet and I don't really wear a lot of bracelets I used to wear my Mars bangle all the time which is from my store but we're sold out of it one and I don't think we're gonna bring it back just because we had a lot of defects on the last batch that we ordered and I don't want to sell something that's defective the first batch the first and like second and third batches we got were perfect they were beautiful nothing was wrong with them nothing and then we ended up getting a batch that like a lot of people's hook was breaking and i'm not with that we you know replaced everybody's bangles that have reached out to us like i put like a huge thing on instagram like if you've ordered one of these bangles and your bangle broke please email us and we'll send you a new one because i'm not going to be one of those companies that doesn't take care of someone's stuff when it's defective like i don't care how much you paid for it you spent your money on it and I don't want you to have something that's broken. So I haven't worn that one as much just because it kind of made me mad. Like it, it made me mad that we were buying something, we spent so much money on something and it kept breaking on people. So instead of that one, I've been wearing my gratitude necklace and, or my gratitude bracelet. We bought these to be a gift at our pop-up shop. We got some that said gratitude, some said follow your heart, love yourself. They just had little messages on them and I have the one that said gratitude because I feel like that's a big word for me this year. I just want to feel grateful and embrace everything, every good thing, and even every bad thing. I don't even care. So I have worn this nonstop. I've showered with it. It still looks good. You can see a little bit of it starting to fade, but as much as I've showered with it, it looks fantastic. I think actually the last one just sold out. So it sucks that I'm mentioning it, but it really is something that I wear all the time. Something that I never take off. Most of the videos, if you look at my arms I'm usually wearing some sort of cuff and it's usually this one all right guys so that sums up all of the jewelry that I wear on a daily basis I hope you guys did enjoy this hopefully this wasn't like all over the place if you guys want me to do like an overall jewelry collection video let me know because I have a ton more jewelry back there more rings more necklaces more bracelets more earrings all that stuff but I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I wear every single day that I get the most questions on and all that stuff so let me know if you guys do want to see the other one uh, down below and I'll see you guys in the next one bye